for a check of your forecast, Michelle. Hi, Talitha. It's nice to hear you, even though I can't see you at the moment. I'm just happy that we are talking about some sunshine to start our day. And we are looking at, you know, storm chances eventually. But we've got those thunderstorm chances continuing to build as we go into the afternoon hours. And overnight, we'll see those scattered showers continue. Uh, really, the ramping up of the severe threat happens late evening, 10 to about midnight, and continued into 2 a.m. Then the scattered showers will be with us through your Thursday off and on. So most of the day tomorrow might be iffy in terms of trying to dodge the rain and get out for some uh, dry activities out there. It might be having some periods of rain and scattered showers. So flood threats are going to be up tonight until about 10 a.m. tomorrow. This includes Sparta, Mount Airy, parts of the foothills back into the Wilkes County area. We're concerned that we might see too much rain all at once from some strong thunderstorms to severe one to two inches with some three inch plus totals that could really put some folks at a risk for flash flooding. We've got two and a half inches from storms that have been rolling through the Midwest to about an inch and uh, you know with the lower end of the scale there with showers and thunderstorms that roll through parts of uh, the region in Arkansas. Your rainfall forecast for this region, we're looking at one to two inches. We're talking about severe storm risk developing later tonight. We'll see lingering showers and thunderstorms throughout the day tomorrow. So this is how we're setting up for you late tonight into your early Thursday. 23 mile an hour gusts right now in Winston-Salem. We've got you at 26 mile an hour gusts in Galax. And we see the strong winds out of the south and southwest. Most of our storm reports so far have been wind damage reports. And so this is the trend right now. We've only had a couple of tornado warnings and reports of actual tornadoes on the ground in the deep south. Our risk continues to be damaging wind threats later tonight. We're only under a marginal risk. But we do need to take that seriously for a risk of flash flooding. Remember, flash flooding is number two weather killer out there. And we want to remind folks that we do expect to see that possibility of some damaging winds above 60 miles an hour. So tree branches, your power outages might happen overnight. So have your no weather radios turned on. Make sure your batteries are ready to go and all your digital devices charged. Another good tip for you. Showers and thunderstorms. Not really in the mix until we get you into much later. Our estimated rainfall totals around here in the last 24 to 48 hours. Not a whole lot. We've been dry. We've been enjoying it too, except for the high pollen counts and blowing around all that pollen for allergy sufferers. You see our cloud cover on our rainbow satellite imagery showing you where we have some of the higher clouds. They're beginning to spill into the forecast region right now. We've got temperatures with winds out of the south southwest at 10 to 15 miles an hour now starting to pump up into the upper 70s. This could take you into the low 80s for folks in the Burlington area too. So looking at that shower and thunderstorm activity, you can see how quickly it kind of wraps in and out of here. We get you through most of that as we go through the early morning hours tomorrow and then just lingering scattered showers and storms. 74 is the average this time of the year. And today we're going to be able to top that into the upper 70s to low 80s. And in the mountains, your temperature is there at about 69 degrees. A quick look at your seven-day forecast shows you that we have impact days, Wednesday and Thursday for good rain chances. We dry out in time for the weekend. And even 80s are on the seven-day for your Sunday. Hope you get to enjoy it.